Welcome champions, this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to be doing something relatively easy but that is going to be building for something more complicated and it will give you a lot more insight into Power Automate but not only that you will learn how to solve some practical problems with Power Automate. In today's video we are going to be looking at how to download any kind of file from the web and save it inside of a folder but not just inside of any folder, inside of a folder in a cloud storage so not on our computer but in a cloud storage in the following video we are going to be seeing how we can connect the power automate that is working inside of the cloud how we can connect it to our computer and have it save files in our computer via a gateway but in this one let's get started and let me show you what we're going to be doing today so i found the file that i want to download in this case is a png of this is the PNG that I want to download. So I want to download it and at the same time I would like to put it inside of a Google Drive folder. Now, nothing easier than that. So let's test this. I have named my picture Yoda2 and I will be putting it inside of this folder right here in Google Drive. Now let's run this flow and see what happens. So we are going to be connecting via HTTP to obtain our picture we are going to be creating then that file inside of default. Now, if I go back here, we can see that we have another picture of Yoda 2 that has been created and it is the same picture as we have here. It hasn't lost any quality. It hasn't been shrunk. It is exactly the same file that we have, uh, that we, we wanted to download. All right. So let's see how this is done. The first thing that we need to do is from Power Automate, we need to create a new flow. And obviously we can choose whatever kind of trigger that we want. We could even try to uh, break a little bit the system, meaning use it not the way that is intended, but maybe using a schedule flow and then uh, downloading every every few seconds an image. But that would just uh, that is uh, beyond the scope of this tutorial. Right now we are not trying to break Power Automate, but to create a file that is going to download some files for us. So we're going to call this download files. It is going to be a, uh, a process that is going to be activated via a trigger, meaning we're going to click on it and it's going to activate. So the next thing that we need to do is, so what are we doing? We are downloading a uh, file from the internet. So we need to use HTTP. So what is HTTP? HTTP is just a HTTP request, like any kind of request that you make to a browser. So for example, when you visit this link right here of Yoda, you are downloading this picture onto your computer. You're making a request to the browser and the browser is returning you the files that you require to visualize this picture. So this is the same thing that we're going to be doing here and we're going to be using the get. What is the method get? So you have all this method get put, post, patch, delete, get all it means is that you are going to get some files from the server on the other hand put just as the word says it you're going to put some files on the server post patch and delete these are more related to database but for right now let's just focus on get so i will select get and now i need the address that i want to download so let's just we can use a picture pdf a web page we can we can download any kind of file that we want so let's maybe download another picture of Yola. So I have taken uh, this one, but let's find something that looks maybe a little bit more interesting. Maybe this picture of Darth Vader. So if I wanted to get this picture of Darth Vader, I would just, I could either click on the picture, get the link from the picture, or just copy the image link automatically now when i go back here i would paste it inside of the url and that's all that we have to do for power automate to make the request to pull that file now the next step that we need to do is we need to create a file now as i was telling you before in the next video we are going to be looking at how to create a file on the file system meaning on our own computer we want to download that file from the internet create a file on our own computer now this is not very straightforward we need to install a gateway 
because we're connecting a cloud uh, cloud uh, instance to our own local machine so we need to know how to connect the two together so in this case to keep things simple for the first time we're going to be using a uh, a, a, a file that is going to be created in a in a shared drive now you can use uh, you can use the microsoft shared drive you can use the google shared drive you can use any kind of uh, online document hosting that allows you to generate files so in my case i will be using uh, drive so if i go to drive and see all of the actions i have one that is also to create a file so i will choose to create a file and since i have already authenticated with my account it will allow me to select the folder where i would like to to save my pictures now i will choose the folder as before it's called power automate and inside of this folder well let's let's actually change folder let's go inside of power automate now when you click on the folder you will select that folder when you click on the arrow you will go inside of that folder so i will select test this is the same folder where we save the picture of the other and we will call this vader.jpg now for the file content automatically i have the body that is generated from the http now inside of the body that is the that is the content of our file now if we save this and run it we should have created our own first power automate voodoo magic now i have already saved this now let's test this and let's see if this is working now if it's working we should go back to our file system and we should get a picture of Darth Vader here right along Yoda. Now, is this running? No, it's not running yet. Once it has made, it has made the request, so probably it will be successful in creating the file as well. And we can see that we have created the file. Now, for some reason, I have, uh, I'm unable to visualize the file probably because I have saved it with the wrong extension so jpg let's see how do we save it here media type all right very good and this is how this process to download files would work obviously you would uh you would uh you have to either do this dynamically what i'm doing right now or you would have to uh, or you have to find a uh, uh, always match match the file that you are trying to download uh, with the extension that is being created now this is what i wanted to show you i hope you guys that you uh, you enjoy this video um, in the next video we are going to be see how to connect to the file system and create files in the file system on our local machine if you like this video subscribe to the channel i really hope that you learn something and that we had fun while working on this so see you in the next one leave me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching